this video let's discuss about the audit management so what is audit so basically the process of tracking the changes in terms of issues risk control within the platform so this helps to ensure data integrity helps assessing the risk and control to be in comprehense with the goals so this is something a basic definition of audit which we have gone through so let us see the flow of audit management how it goes how the flow works so first we need to go for application navigator and type engagement here so I have done it click on create new so this is an engagement record and these are the state flows of it scope validate field work awaiting approval follow up and closed so first of all in the scope state we need to fill the mandatory fields like type engagement lead so whenever you are giving the engagement lead the engagement lead should have the role of sn underscore audit dot manager so we shall give a build tutor as engagement lead and we'll give auditors and approvers so auditors are the one who are responsible for the audit task then we shall give the engagement plan start date let's go for today and we'll give the end date as well shall save the form so this is the first implementation step of the audit management that we have given some mandatory fields like type and engagement lead and we have given auditors and approvers now we shall move to the entities and add on the entities you can select any one of those you can add on after adding you can move to the next state which is validate and click on the validate UI button you will see there are four risk and five controls of the respective entity so these risk and controls belongs to this respective entity for further clarification you can just open this entity you can see here there are four risk and five controls and you can see here as well there are four risk and five controls so after this we can create audit task in the validate state so basically there are four types of audit task we have that is activity control test interview and walkthrough we can go for any one of those I will go for control test so here is the flow of control test that is open work in progress review and closed we need to give the mandatory field assigned to the person who is responsible for this control test so you can see here design test and operation test if we give any one of ineffective in these two categories you can see here a issue is generated which is out of box functionality of service now so if I give here effective and here if I give ineffective you can see the control changes and next we need to go work in progress and review just to showcase you I will directly close this issue you can see a issue will be generated here you can see here a issue is generated
so we can see here it is one control test issue it is showing here which we have created now in the audit task so next let us move for advanced field work in this state basically we create the other issues after creation of audit task if we get any further issues we'll go for this other issues so here in this other issues issue manager group and manager is mandatory field you can give any one of them I will give it as test then I will change the state to analyze I will save the form in this analyze state we need to give the assign to the person who is responsible to analyze and give the resolution in the response state we need to fill the mandatory fields the due date and save the form now once we come to the response state we need to give the response here like remediate or accept and we need to give reason for that like hi I am working on it And you need to change the state for review so this is the completion of that issue which we are going and we need to close so after this we'll go back to the engagement record and we shall move for the next state which is awaiting approval to go for the next state we need to click on the request button which is a UI button request approval if we click this you can see there is one approval so if we don't have any approval in the awaiting approval state it will directly go for the follow-up state if in case we have an approver but if it gets reject it will move for the field work state so we shall approve this now you can see automatically the state goes to follow-up state as soon as we approve it will go for the follow-up state in the follow-up state will go for the reports and will attach the knowledge base for this which is audit and we need to attach a report template then we need to save the form after saving you can see a button a UI button here which is generate a report if you hit on this so you can able to see the entire engagement what all you have did like creation of audit task and creation of other task and control test what all we have performed you can able to see in this entire report once we hit on publish you can able to see a KB article which is generated here so this is how the flow goes 
so once you want to close the engagement you just need to cross verify that the audit task the control test issue and the other issue all these three issues must have the state as closed once these three complete test state are closed then automatically the state of an engagement goes to the closed state so it is closed we need to go here and close this state So refresh the form you can see it automatically went to the closed state so this is how the audit management flow goes and this is something overview of an audit management which I have gone through thank you